know? Ooh, that's a slap. Hey guys, it is uh, Sunday, May 5th, about 8.42, and I'm headed to go catch some trout. Yesterday was uh, the Wisconsin fishing opener, so also a trout opener, and I did go fish that with a few buddies, but um, I did not do a lot of filming. Um, I might throw a few clips in from yesterday, but yesterday was more of a, you know, hang out with friends and relax kind of day than worry about getting some good content, but um, I'm going out this morning to go catch some more fish, hopefully, and then... Um, if I do get into some, maybe I'll show you how you uh, how I clean them and how I cook them. And um, well, let's all hope for the best day. Hopefully, I get some fish, and uh, I'll catch you out there. Stay tuned. Probably walking all this. Probably not gonna walk anything that way. And um, let's hope we get into a few. I'm uh, starting out here with a um, black and silver minnow uh, number seven floating Rapala. So I tied on my. Um, it's a. Uh, I don't really know, is it a uh, Fox Blue Flash or something? I'm not really sure what brand, but 3 16th of an ounce. Let's give her a try. That was a mess. And since this is some deeper water, when I'm casting my spinner, when it hits, except for when I'm in the bank, I let it sink with without closing the bale so it sinks straight down as possible. And then just slowly reel it in so that spinner is active. And just like that, fish on. Not a bad one. Not huge, but nice little brookie you probably say like seven or eight inches so the size limit is uh eight inches but anything this big i am not gonna keep so uh i'm gonna snap a few quick picture of this guy and then get it back here we go and away it goes first fish of the day not a bad one I knew there was something dinking with it down there. I could, you know, it didn't feel like weeds, but it really didn't feel like hard fish strikes. That was one. And sometimes what'll happen too is, there we go, another one. What I was gonna finish saying is sometimes when you uh, get some deeper shelves and when you cast in those deeper shelves and you let it just sink, sometimes they will hit it while it is falling so you'll reel in your slack and you'll have a fish on which is it's pretty cool and this is probably a number one necessity for spinning reel trout fishing pliers if you're using spinners rapalas any sort of treble hook definitely want to have pliers beautiful brown just a beautiful brown once again I don't think this one's gonna come home with us. Definitely over the eight inch mark, but this one's gonna go home. See you, bud. Just like that, I tied on my uh, my spinner and probably four or five casts in, two fish. Rapalas are not the ticket today. Not today. And yes, I know I am casting I am walking downstream. Usually trout fishermen walk upstream because trout fish up, face upstream, you don't spook them that way. But with the spinner, I like it because you don't have to reel very fast. The, the current will do the work for you. You just reel nice and slow and the current will work that bait. And with how sunny it is today, 
that spinner is just lighting up underneath the water. Let's cast this way once. Here we go, fish. Flipper. Another nice brown. Um, like I said, I want to keep some fish today, but I want something a little bigger than this, so. making sure my line wasn't getting tangled up and then this guy just smoked it oh yeah this is a nice one Let's see if i can get him a lift oh yes look at that yes beautiful trail this is Definitely bigger than what I want to keep, so this one's gonna go back for sure. Make sure you guys can see this. Choke it back healthily. Healthy kick away. Let's go. Not my line, I was trying to keep that out. Reeled in and had a man strand. There's another one, same spot. Nicer one, I think so. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah, another nice one. Another nice one. Let's see if I can lift it. Oh, yep. Another, another gorgeous brown, probably a good 16, 14, 16, somewhere in there. Another beautiful brownie. Let's get him back again. Healthy, kick away, just like that. This is what it's all about right here. Another one. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a good eater. This one's bleeding pretty good too. I mean, a little smaller than I like to keep, but with the amount of blood that's got, I'm definitely gonna take this one. Back. Okay, so for cleaning trout, it's really easy. So you can use your fly knife, and right here, the little Ain't no thing, hole, whatever. Just stick your knife in there. I like putting my thumb under the gill so I can have a nice place to hold it onto. And you're just gonna cut all the way up to the middle. And then I go behind the pectoral fins and just cut that off, rip it off. I just do, I do it in the stream. It's a lot easier to clean in the stream than it is at your house. And you're gonna have all the guts and everything inside and you're just gonna pull all those out and then the very very bottom it'll be like a black strip and that's just blood you just gotta take your thumb and push all that stuff out give her a rinse in the water 
And there you have a filleted trout. Pretty easy. This is easier to see. Kinda here. See all that black stuff in the bottom? You just gotta take your thumb and that's just blood and that all comes out. Two nice trout ready to season up and throw on the grill. Okay, so I've got my grill going right now. I've got my filleted trout right here. So the first thing you do is get your whatever seasonings you want. Always, I always use salt and pepper no matter what, but I also like to experiment every once in a while. So you hold her open and you give her the seasonings. Whatever, whatever you want to put on there. I'm putting a little Italian seasoning on there, a little garlic powder. A little walrus, a little salt, a little pepper. And then on the inside, take some slices of lemon, squeeze those in there, and then also throw a few pieces of butter in there too. And then just set that one down and repeat with the next one. So you got your trout seasoned and stuff. You always throw a few pieces of butter in here on top like that. And then throw some seasons over the top. And then you want to get a nice wrap on. And then She's ready to throw on the grill. So uh, once your grill is hot and going, just take your tin foil, place it on there, and then put the cover on. And I'd probably say go about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna check it, flip it, another 10 minutes, and then it should be ready to eat. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I think it's time to Unfold the tin foil here and see how they look. Oh yeah, those are done. Look at that. So I have uh, got my trout here, and I think we are going to give it a taste. Oh, baby. You can eat the skin, I don't, but it comes right off the bone. Look at that. Just perfect. Mm. That is good. Oh yeah. Well, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned a thing or two about cleaning, catching, and cooking trout. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.